it going? It's Sophie. I'm back with another video. How's everyone's Monday going? Monday is the worst day of the week, but I'm going to try and make it a bit better for you by posting this video for you. You! Alright, so, first things first. Got a new sweatshirt on. Slytherin, obviously. Got this from Primark, and yeah. Do you like it? Do you like it? Alright, anyway, so. So yeah, you haven't really seen me over the weekend because I tend to be busier on weekends. The studio is all cleared out. The floor needs cleaning. The walls need cleaning. But apart from that, it's empty. It's actually really hot with this sweatshirt on, so I thought I might take it off. Oh, what's that? Much link in bio. But no, the first thing I'm going to start with in this video is the fan mail with Sophie. The reason why I'm doing this one so early in the vlog because I've got a specific big parcel and I want to open it. So yeah, L. Hi Snake, what's up buddy? Um, I need scissors. Sophie and Sharp objects normally tend not to go well together, but I'm gonna trust myself. I said that and I nearly put myself in the eye with a scissors, great. All right, here we are guys. We're in the room where we film. I'm out with Sophie. You guys are gonna get bored of that one day. You probably already are bored of it. Lumos, never first time anymore. All right, so here's the big box I'm talking about. So this is probably why, like look, can you see why I wanna open this up before the video? Like this looks exciting. I don't know why I have scissors for this. Like this clearly doesn't need scissors, but what? Oh wait, have they just used a Geek Gear box for it? This isn't actually a Geek Gear subscription box, is it? Because this is the Christmas edition and I know I'm not a very smart person, but I do know Christmas is two months away. So this would be very early. All right. Okay, oh, this is exciting. I, I might take this into my room so I can sit down with it. Let's do it. Look at this, guys. I see something already. Can you see a Draco pot? It says Weasley on the side of one of the pot boxes. There's a hat in there. I don't know if you guys know, but I like hats. I don't think I've ever told you guys that, actually. I think you probably just picked up on it, to be honest. All right, where should we put you? Okay, not there. Okay, that looks good. All right, so here is the box, guys. Look at this. Okay, you can actually see it, which is good. Got a little pop version of me on it. Hi, Sophie. I saw that you got the Harry in his Christmas jumper Funko Pop from the limited edition Geek Gear box. So I thought I would send you Ron to go with him. I've also sent you some other little bits and some artwork that I've made for you. So I hope you like it all. I think you're amazing. I look forward to your videos every day. Keep up the fab work, Ella. Ella. Oh my god, no you did not. Oh my god, it is. It's, it, this is gonna go so well. This is so good. Thank you so much, Ella. Oh, it is. It is. Oh my god. Oh my god, I see something else. Flipping it. I'm actually like freaking out. I can't even open it. Here we have it, guys. This is Ron in the Christmas jumper. And over there, I have Harry in his Christmas jumper. So these are gonna go so well together. Thank you so much, Ella. Like, if there's one thing that makes me happy in life, it is pop vinyls. Like, I can just be so happy if I get one. Here. Oh my god. This is... 100% this might be one of my favourite pops I've ever had. So basically this is Lucy's body, but they've taken the cane out, so it looks like just a Death Eater body. And they put it on Draco's. Look how cool that is. That is my favourite thing ever. Like, Draco looks badass as a Death Eater. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but like, oh, that is just amazing. Ella, you know me so well. Alright, what else have we got in here? I've got Draco in his Sliver and Quidditch uniform. <gasps> Oh my god, this is Christmas! Okay, so if you didn't know, in my latest Geek Gear unboxing, the standard one, I got a snitch key ring. I was like, oh my god, I wish I had the Dark Mark Death Eater key ring. Oh my god, I got it. This is going on my car keys. Oh my god. Oh! Your Boss Every Flow of Beans. I do need more of these. Ever since that milkshake video. <laughs> Uh, I've needed a new packet of these, so thank you so much. And we got a little pin of Hogwarts. This is absolutely amazing. That's a lovely box as well. All right, what else have we got? Oh, okay. It's a baseball. Is this one of those little things I had as a kid? Is this what you tie around your wrist and then you chuck it and it comes back? Okay, I've actually always wanted to play like baseball. At school, I played rounders and stuff. Baseball was always like a more American thing. That's actually so cool. Like, that is the most random thing. Like, I don't know what that's like got to correspond to my videos, but I actually really do like this, like in person, which is really Really cool. That may seem random to a lot of you guys, but that is actually really cool for me. I'm a very sports person. Okay. <gasps> Shut up. This is a snapback that has always written on it. Oh my god. It's like the Patronus and it says always on the front. Damn. All right. What else we got in here? What the hell is this? What? <laughs> what? It's a Domino's poncho. What the hell? Okay. I take it back. This is random. This is the most random thing I've ever got in a fan mail. What the hell? Ella, what is the story behind this? I feel like a Dementor who works at Domino's. What the hell? I like it. I actually think this is really awesome. <laughs> Look at me right now. To be fair, like when I was younger, I always wanted to be like one of those pizza delivery people like on a little motorbike and have a little pizza on the back. Like, That's what I always wanted to do. Oh! Dawkins! We got a little Dawkins. 
Watkins in here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a Bertie Bots Every Player Bean pin. We've got a wand as well. <gasps> Proud to be Slytherin badge. I lost the scissors. Oh no, they're on the floor somewhere, aren't they? Did you guys see where I put the scissors? You probably did. Now you're telling me on the camera where it is, but obviously this is a one way thing and I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, I left them in the other room. <gasps> It strangled me. All right, what poster is this? You guys get to see first. Oh, I know what it's gonna say. 100% it's gonna say keep calm and be a slivering. <gasps> yeah! I haven't got a poster like this. That might actually have to go in my studio. Perfecto. Ella, this is insane. Oh, you draw me a little Funko Pop. Yes, Ella, love that. And we've got this, it's the final bit here. Ooh. Oh, little, little drawings. Ella, thank you so much for all that. That's insane. Like, how does one person send me all that? Like, this is absolutely beautiful. This is going in my studio. If you guys don't know, I've got some pops that don't have boxes. I've got duplicates, so those ones are gonna go downstairs because then it has a reason to be there. These ones are gonna stay up in my bedroom. This is awesome as well. Everything's awesome. Like, I'm wearing this, I'm wearing that, like. Thank you so much, Ella. Thank you so, 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 so much. And that is the end of Mama with Sophie. I actually still can't get over that. That's absolutely amazing. And it's not just Ella. It's all of you guys. Like, I will never, ever get used to what you guys do for me. And, like, how you physically get involved with my life. is just every... Just, like... Just, like, did I, like, did I ever think I would just get... I'm pretty speechless right now. <laughs> like, I don't know how to word it. Like, I'd never thought, like, this would ever happen. Like, I would actually have people sending me stuff, let alone getting it every single day. Like, you guys are just so amazing. I said that really weird there. Hey, Snape. I'm gonna go and put this on my car keys right now. What's the weather like today? Sophie wouldn't know because, whoa. I'm just naturally glowing. That isn't natural. That was literally just the camera having a bit of a malfunction. So the weather today is, well, Sophie wouldn't know what the weather is because Sophie never goes outside. Sophie doesn't like going outside. Sophie's happy to stay inside. So Sophie will stay inside and talk to a camera because that's Sophie's life. Sophie's gonna go downstairs now and stop talking in third person, Sophie. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Anyway, yeah, put this key ring on. Should I show you the studio? You have no idea. You haven't seen any of it. Like, there isn't anything to show, but you don't know, like, the room, like, what the shape of the room is or it's ugly at the moment. Okay, it's really ugly like this has to have a lot of work on it and when i say a lot of work i mean a lot of work dawkins everyone oh he's asleep everyone's always like how's dawkins doing he's over there you see him in the corner do you like that sign by the way boy i have the tortoise all right here's the kitchen guys by the way i might do a house tour soon loads of people like saying don't do a house tour i will soon you've already seen the kitchen though you would have seen that in the video where i put my hands in the box what's in the box is it harry potter or not if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you do that's like one of my favorite videos on my channel people always ask me like what's your favorite video on your channel probably that one all right let's sit you down here and put this on all right let's go for this i've actually had so many harry potter key rings on this but like they just fall off or get damaged and stuff like that so like it's just constant putting new ones on there let's just show you what's on my keyring so here we have like this really classic old m m keyring like this is ancient i think this used to be my brother's like can you see how old that is i like that it's old i think that was like made when he first ever came about here's my key for my house i actually wanted to have a harry potter themed one but all they did was star wars so i thought i'd put a stormtrooper on there it's better than having a plain keyring here we have the dark mark here we have the tardis which is basically like fading away because obviously my sweaty hands here we have the Hogwarts crest. I did have a Slytherin crest that must have fallen off. I had a Newt's Commander one. I had so many on here and it, it, they've all just fallen off. Anyway, let's show you the studio, shall we? All right, so here it is. It's very echoey. I have to sort that out because I don't want my videos to be like, Coo -coo! yeah, that, that, that won't be good. All right, so here it is. It's a square room. I will show you the rest of it, but it's just the mess. It's never been a good room, so I'm going to make it a good room. And that's all I'm going to show you, just that little white wall and the echoiness of it. I, I just can't wait for it to be sorted out. The living room is full of stuff which is going in there. It's just a really exciting process for me. And comments, the comment section on my last video, you guys just seem so excited for it, which is amazing. I'm so happy that you guys are excited as I am. Like, I think one of the top comments on the last video was like, oh my God, this studio is gonna be amazing. Who else is excited? And everyone was replying to it. And like, I thought it'd just be me that's excited, but now I do understand that you guys will be excited because it just, it's a new adventure. And obviously I can show the progress of it. And I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but just know that I'm excited. Anyway, Anyway, the title of this video, the one collection. You guys always ask me to do one collections. I'm gonna do it. I've got quite a lot of wands. The reason I've been holding this off for so long is because I'm not a very big wand person. Like, I am a wand person because wands play a massive part in Harry Potter, but I've never been a fan of collecting them. They just seem a lot of money for what they are. And you guys know me, I get excited over Harry Potter stuff. Like, have you seen my room? Obviously, it's still exciting for me to get a wand. Like, I like wands, it's just a lot of money for what they are. And it's cool how you can get like the individual character wands, and it is kind of holding like what they are holding. But I've actually got 
got enough ones now for actually to make a video out of it. All right, so let's start over here. You're probably thinking what's these white marks. Basically, there was holes in my wall, so I filled it in. I need to paint it over with red. But this is the Fantastic Beast one stand. I know this is Newt's, 100%. I know this is Percival Graves. This is the woman I can never pronounce, but she's like the head of Makusa Safina. I don't even know. This one here is Tina's and this one is Queenie's. I think I'm right with that. I think I've got that right. And then we go over here into the dark arc section. Look at his new addition, guys. Do you recognize him? All right, so here we have a Death Eater wand. It doesn't actually tell me which Death Eater it belongs to. It just literally says Death Eater wand, which came in this box here. This is apparently my own custom made one. One of you guys made me. Let's move you out of the way right now, Draco. And here we have two Snape wands. These aren't Noble Collection. These are just a one that fans sent me and one that came in the Geek Gear box. They're that's all it said on the Death Eater one. It said Death Eater Wad Snake. Which is really cool because it's like a snake eating his chest. Which is like, you know, Death Eater. You know. Alright, then we head over here. This is really cool. Look at these little pops of me. Alright, here's like the wand. So here's the Lord Voldemort wand. Which was one of the first ever Noble Collection ones I got. Really love this. Beautiful, beautiful design. Like, it's so like, oh, it's an Ollivander's box. It just looks so cool. One of my favourite ones. I think it is my favourite one. Just because it's just like white. All the other ones are quite plain. It looks like a bone. It's just so cool. Here we have the Snape wand. You can't really see it. It's very boring. Like, Snape, sort your wand out. It's just a plain black one. And then in here, can we move you out of the way, please? In here, we have Ron's wand. That's not a Noble Collection one. That's from the Harry Potter Studio tour. Here we have Luna's wand. I really hope I'm getting this correct. My wand knowledge is not the best. Here is a, like, a cheap Lord Voldemort wand. I think I did the comparing video. It's like, if you want to see the difference between the two, there we go. Here is a random one I found in the random shop. It didn't say, but it looks so like Ron's wand. It's really strange. It wasn't like a Harry Potter shop or anything i just found it and that's hermione's one in gold and behind that is a homemade one that a fan made me but that is so weird how it looks so like ron's it's crazy see the two there and obviously my favorite wand if you can count it as a wand is the lucius malfoy cane this is so so cool the wand itself is actually awesome as well i would get it out but it's such a hassle because i just love it above here and it would take me a while to get it out but the detail on this is absolutely beautiful and the wand is actually cool because it has the full snake head so it's just like this and it has a black tip to the end of it so it still has all this as part of the wand lucius just likes to expand it to a cane which i think is awesome and i really do love this this is so heavy i don't know how he uses it but you know he's a beast and that is actually it like i told you i don't have that many wands i do want more but i've got my favorites which is lucius's and voldemort's i wish snape's was my favorite but it's just so plain and that's just another reason like this one collection video like that was so quick actually i've got to put this one in it look it's a pen newt's commander <laughs> But no, like, that shows you, like, I can't make that out into a whole video. That only lasts, like, a few minutes. Like, and I would never have done that video because it was so short. So I'm so glad I'm doing these, like, daily videos and, like, vloggy sort of videos. Because it makes it longer and it makes me do videos I wouldn't normally do. Because they're too short, so I make them into a big one. Let me know in the comments down below what wand I should get next if I do get one. Oh, and also, we got a new segment to the video. I'm going to do one which is question of the day. Every time I'm going to answer a question. This one I'm getting off Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do at Bakey Films. But in the future, I will get them from the comments from the previous video. So comment down below a question for me, and it may get answered in the next video. Each video, I'll answer one question. And today's question is, do you like Draco? Now, I think this is pretty obvious. Move out my way. Oh! I thought I was just going to knock everything off my shelf. This is the scary thing about living in this bedroom. you got to, like, move very slowly around because stuff will fall off. But no, do I like Draco? Of course I like Draco. Draco is my second favourite character. He is just so interesting as a character. I don't really like to bring Cursed Child into it, but the way they developed Draco in the Cursed Child is exactly what I pictured he would be like in the future. And I love what they did with Draco and with the Malfoy family, like, bringing Scorpius into it. It's just absolutely beautiful. That's the only bit I really like about Cursed Child is the development of Draco and introducing Scorpius. Those are my two favourite in Cursed Child. He's just a beautiful, well-written character. Very intriguing for me. And I just love him as a character. And he's just beautiful. Physical looks and beautiful as a character. Like, as a development. And, but I know a lot of you guys are ifing and whatever about Draco. A lot of people hate him. A lot of people love him. Let me know what your thoughts of Draco is in the comments down below also. And make sure you put your question down there as well. Because you might be the lucky one who gets their question answered in the next video. Which should be tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed, please give a big thumbs up for me. That really does help me out and it really does make me happy. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. We're on a movement, guys. We are doing it. And just so many videos coming to you guys as well. Love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, with another video. Bye. And we're
Yay, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching right up to the end. I like you. You're not a muggle. Make sure you watch my latest video by clicking here. You can also click subscribe to my channel by clicking here and watch any future Harry Potter videos that I come up with. And in the description down below, you'll find my social media links and you may find a bit of merchandise from me. I love you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in my next Harry Potter video. Adios. Whoa, she disappeared. <laughs>